Hey y'all, welcome back to College Finds YouTube channel. Before we get started today, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you don't miss any of our top application tips or test prep strategies. Also, if you find today's video helpful, it would be awesome if you clicked the like button below and shared it with your friends on social media. Let's get started and talk about GPAs. Today, we are going to go deep on the concept of a GPA. We're gonna to touch on what exactly a GPA is, how to calculate yours, and how to convert yours to a 4.0 scale. If you have questions about your GPA, you probably don't need to look any further than this video. Before we dive in, let's cover the basics of what a GPA actually is. So your grade point average, GPA, is a summary and quantifiable average of your academic performance. This data point is used by colleges to evaluate the rigor of your curriculum and compare you to other applicants in the admissions process. You will need to report your GPA on your applications, although your high school has probably recorded it for you on your transcript. Many schools calculate GPAs differently, so it can sometimes be difficult to understand where you might fall in comparison to other candidates and the statistics you might see online. That's why it can be helpful to convert your GPA to a standardized 4.0 scale. You should also know that there are generally two types of GPAs. There are unweighted GPAs, and then there are weighted GPAs. Your unweighted GPA is an average of all of your grades without taking into account the rigor of the courses. For example, a B in AP US history is the same as a B in regular history, according to an unweighted scale. A weighted GPA, on the other hand, adds credit for more rigorous courses. Different high schools do this a bit differently. Some add a full point for an AP or honors course, so an A in an AP course would be a 5.0 rather than a 4.0. Other schools add only a fraction for advanced or honors coursework. Luckily, colleges will receive information on how your school weights their grades. So you don't need to worry about appearing lower just because of how your high school weighs your classes. Admissions officers are pros and they know how to take that into account. Most colleges recalculate GPAs or consider an applicant's academic progression holistically according to their own selection process. Still though, it can be helpful for your own purposes, your own college search, to know how your GPA stacks up on the standard 4.0 scale. So you may want to convert it yourself. It's actually a fairly simple process, and we at CollegeVine have made it even easier with our GPA converter. We're going to link to that converter in our comments so that you can enter your GPA and your school's scaling system and have it automatically converted to any other scale you wish to use. To calculate and convert your own GPA, you can follow these simple steps. Step one is to compare your grades in each individual class to a 4.0 scale. You'll want to go through each class you've taken and find the GPA value of the grade that you achieved in that class. On screen, you're going to see a chart with the grades and the GPA values to get you started. You can also find a copy of this chart in our GPA converter tool. Once again, that's linked in the comments below this video. Step number two is to weight your grades. So you'll want to add a full point to any honors or AP courses. For example, an A, normally a 4.0, would become a 5.0 for an AP class. Step number three is to calculate your full GPA on a 4.0 scale. So to begin, you'll multiply each weighted or unweighted grade by the number of credits associated with the course. You can then add those values together. Let's walk through an example. 5.0 times 3 credits, plus 4.7 times 3 credits, plus 4.0 times 2 credits, plus 3.3 times 1 credit, plus 4.3 times 3 credits, equals 15, plus 14.1, plus 8, plus 3.3, plus 12.9, equals 53.3. Next, you can divide the total by the number of total credits you earned. So 53.3 divided by 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 3 equals 4.44. That is your GPA on a 4.0 scale. If it's over 4.0, that does not mean that you calculated it incorrectly. It just probably means that you've taken advanced coursework and you've done well in it. So congratulations, that is a good thing. Now that you have your GPA on a 4.0 scale, what are you gonna use that number for? Well, your weighted 4.0 scale GPA is the number that you should report on applications. Remember that many colleges will recalculate that GPA according to their own measures. If your high school ranks, that provides another measure for colleges to understand your academic performance relative to the other members of your graduating class. Your GPA can help you to compare yourself to other admissions candidates, since that metric is universally used. You can also see how you stack up against a college's acceptance student body, because most colleges report the average GPAs, or at least the middle 50% of the freshman class's GPAs on a 4.0 scale. You do need to be careful though, since the way that course rigor is assessed in a GPA can vary significantly from one high school to the next, you should avoid using your GPA to draw any conclusions about how you stack up against your friends from other schools or whether or not you'll be accepted into a certain college. Remember that selective colleges perform a holistic review of your candidacy, meaning that your GPA is just one part of the profile they'll take into account. They're also going to look at things like your activities, your essay, 
your letters of recommendation, and other aspects of your application. For more information about how to calculate your GPA and how it's used in the admissions process, check out our blog posts linked below in the comments. Or for general guidance on applying to college, visit us online at app.collegevine.com. That's it for today. Thanks, as always, for visiting our YouTube channel. And if you're applying to college this season, best of luck. <music>